Hi, do you know that either me or you are going to be affected by osteoarthritis as we grow older? Surprised? Well, it's a fact. Nearly one in two older adults are affected by knee osteoarthritis. My name is Benny and I'm a PhD student at the Menzies Research Institute of Tasmania in Hobart. And today I will be describing about my project, which I do in the Menzies as part of my PhD. Osteoarthritis is the most common joint disorder in adults around the world. Dr. Kevin Stone once quoted, Cancer may kill you, but when you look at the numbers, arthritis ruins more lives. Research Australia's public opinion poll suggested that Australians are more worried about developing arthritis than any other disease. The conventional treatment is palliative and accounts for 75% of the aged care expenditure considerably above its prevalence share of 42%. The cost of this incurable disease is expected to rise due to the increasing number of osteoarthritis and the need of joint replacement surgeries. Nearly 40,000 knee and hip replacement surgeries are performed each year in Australia. The effect of physical activity on knee osteoarthritis has always been controversial. Studies have suggested that the physical activity is detrimentally associated with knee structures, beneficially associated with knee structures, as well as there is a threshold effect of physical activity on knee structures. The reason for these controversial findings may be due to the different effect of different physical activity on different knee structures. Therefore, studying all the structures in the knee is very important. Previously, we found that physical activity was associated with increased cartilage volume in healthy children. However, the effect of childhood physical activity or fitness persists into adult life is unknown. The aim of my PhD is to determine whether physical activity, physical fitness and fatness in childhood is associated with knee structures as well as knee function in adulthood. I am lucky to have a unique opportunity of working on a 25 year data set. The baseline data was collected in 1985 in Australian Schools Health and Fitness Survey. Almost 8,500 Australia-wide school kids of the age of 7 to 15 years underwent various measurements including physical activity, physical fitness and obesity measurements. After 20 years, these measurements were repeated in a study called the Childhood Determinants of Adult Health Study. MRI scans were collected in a study called CDAGNI Cartilage Study, which is a 25-year follow-up of the 1985 survey. I processed their MRIs using an image processing software and quantify the knee structural abnormalities. These include abnormalities in cartilage and meniscus known as cartilage defects and meniscal tears, the total cartilage volume and bone area were also measured in these young adults. These MRI measurements form the basic outcome measures of knee joint health which are associated with the development of osteoarthritis in later life. Abnormalities in subchondral bone also can be visualized through MRI scans. I have discussed and finalized a project with Professor Tim McClendon in Tufts University in Boston, USA where I can learn to perform the technique of measuring bone volume fraction from trabecular MRI. Currently, I am looking for the funding opportunities for this project. A travel grant from Campus Travel, Qantas Travel Fund will enable me to perform this new imaging technique in my study. Quantifying the bone abnormalities in this unique young cohort will enable me to explore the childhood risk factors associated with this abnormality which in turn predict the development of osteoarthritis in later life. The findings of my research were presented in the most prestigious rheumatology conferences in Washington and Madrid and it was featured in Australian Broadcasting Corporation News Time. A 20-year study of almost 300 Australians found childhood activity creates stronger adult knee cartilage. So it's saying we should really be getting our children out there exercising as vigorously as we can and they'll get a long-term protective benefit from that in their knees. Thanks to the ABC for featuring my research findings. 
Identifying modifiable risk factors early in life using my research is of high priority as these risk factors are potentially reversible. This in turn will prevent the development of osteoarthritis in later life and could save the government in millions in joint replacement surgeries and drastically reduce the surgery waiting list.